What's up, guys? Mystic Stream here, and welcome back to Sally Mix. Episode 3 has been released recently, and I only found out today, so I'm going to get into it. Finish off episode two. expected this. Is this real? Am I dreaming? Right room at Nam Dnif Lots You know what? Don't forget what I told you. Find me in the white room. Okay. I'm not going to do the whole reading it. Whoa. But you must not speak of this place to others. I don't I can't read the rest of that I'm not expecting what in the world the only one who believed you is dead now great what should I do run remember huh run it's run 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 yes what the crap Oh, whoops, I could have pulled the lever. There used to be a door here. What? Whoa. Whoa. Is it true that you have chosen to forego legal help in favor of representing yourself? Journalist Claire Nettles. Yes. I've got nothing to hide. Can you speak to your conviction of being an innocent man? Are you sticking with the story you've told the police? Faux news. False news. Okay. I will share the truth. Are you saying your original story wasn't true? I have no comments on that. Can you comment on this supposed person that allegedly killed your mother? How do you explain no witnesses or evidence of any such person? I don't see the relevance of that now. 
Is it true that they are going to add the Sanderson murder to your charges? That would be news to me. But honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pin that on me too. And what about Charlie Mansfield? I have nothing to say about him right now, except that I did what I thought was right at the time. Okay, since we aren't getting any major details from you, let me ask you our highest polled question. The viewers are highly interested in this one. Is it true that you are granted special meal privileges because you are afraid of baloney? I'm not afraid of lunch meat, okay? I just... Well... It's a long story. Your trial is still a few hours away. I think we have plenty of time. Ugh. Alright. Episode 3, The Baloney Incident. Mr. Dude L, Sal Fisher, Fisher, Sanity Spa. What if I were more than just a doodle? <gasps> I can walk the doodle around. <laughs> That's cool, okay. Hello, uh, are you okay? Okay, yeah, it's a uh, pyramid head. What's wrong with your friend? He sought the truth, and the truth destroyed his soul. Now please let us alone. Your head will frighten the children. Can you tell me where your friend ventured to find enlightenment? He traveled to the wise prophet, beyond the fields of death. But a round head like you will never make it. You are a headist. Better. Are you okay? What happened to your limbs? Well, I never! How would you feel if I asked you what happened to your weirdly shaped head? I, I didn't mean to offend, I was... Huff, go bother someone else. Hello, miss. Don't pay any mind to my sister. She's been cranky lately because of the sun. It's no problem. Our ancestors were mauled by the great beast. Ever since, our people are drawn without limbs. What sort of beast could do that? We do not speak of such things. If you want to know more, you'll need to seek out the Oracle beyond the Death Fields. What the freak? <laughs> Are you the Great Beast? Well, f you too, friend! No, I'm sorry. Don't pay any mind. My temper rises with the sun. The Great Beast hasn't been seen for over 100 years. Do you know where the Prophet is? You mean the crazy old hag who lives beyond death? Just take that ladder down. It's always a ladder down. <laughs> Doodles. Oh, that must be death right there. Hello? You shouldn't have come here. Where am I? A dark place. Is this the field of death? Horrible things happen when the sun burns out. It's an eraser. That's death to doodles. The article is a fortune teller. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Are you the prophet? I'm called many names by the sticks. Do you know about the Great Beast? It crawled through the Great Hole many years ago. It ravages the sticks for decades, then was laid to rest by a magnificent explosion in the sky. Most believe the beast to be dead, though we know better than that. What is the Great Hole? Eons ago, we created a great hole in the papery fabric of this world. A hole that contains all of the knowledge in the universe. How do I get there? What is the truth worth to you? Everything. 
What? Where did she go? Oh snap! It's a hole in the paper! Excuse me, Mr. Fisher. Sal, wake up! Huh? That doesn't look like math to me. Oh, sorry, I must have dozed off. I already finished the test. It's <laughs> so bad. I know, dear. You aced it as well. Very good. Just try to stay away for the remainder of class, okay? So bad. Sure, it won't happen again. And Mr. Phelps, eyes on your own paper. <sighs> Class is almost over. Make sure everyone hands in their test before leaving. Class ended. Hey, freak! You're just mad because I finished my math test. Nobody likes a goody two shoe, Sally Face. Nobody likes a cliche bully, Travis. Told you. Don't you have something better to do? Shut up! I wasn't talking to you. Oh, you can freak right the heck off. You know, if you took that stick out of your, so you may actually enjoy yourself for once. Maybe even make a friend or two. F f Keep censoring myself. I have more friends than you'll ever have. You kiss your daddy with that tongue? I'm sure he. Ooh! What the? Are you alright, Sal? I'm fine. Come on, let's report that jerk. No, don't worry about it. I'll just make things worse, trust me. I've dealt with bigger bullies than Travis before. Sal, you're bleeding. I'm okay, really. Here, let's use my bandana. Wait, hold on, I... You can't. I'm... Wearing a prosthetic face. She just smiled. There. Looks like it was just a small scratch. Don't worry, you can hardly see it. Ha. Ah, thanks, Ash. Dude, what happened? Was it Travis again? That prick, I'll kill him! Larry, I'm fine, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Sal's right. If we start a pot, it could just make things worse. Not if he's dead! Larry is heated. That's my boy! Then he'll probably just haunt the school and we'll be stuck with that bonehead for the next two years. Ha! Says the group skeptic. You know I love you guys, but the ghost stories are a bit much even for me. So, we're really just gonna let this Travis thing go? It's not worth it. Plus, think about it. Who knows what his home life is like? He's got a lot of pent up rage. There must be a reason. I'm pretty sure he's just angry that they switch bologna sandwich day to tomorrow. Heh. <laughs> Seriously, I've never seen anyone love the crappiest lunch day so much. It's like a prison meal, and he doesn't even like pizza Fridays. Who doesn't like pizza? It's inhuman. Maybe he's an alien. Ha! <laughs> That's all we need. Larry, I'll help you kill Travis when Sal isn't looking. <laughs> I heard that! Oh, yes! The next day, Baloney Day. Knockfell High School. Yeah, 
Is that the lonely smell funny to you guys? I thought last week's was a little off-putting, but it seems to be worse this week. I heard it's made from goat meat. Didn't a bunch of kids call in sick the day after Bologna Day last week, too? Hey, you guys, don't ruin lunch for me, please. It's the only good part of the day. That was me. That was me. Group huddle? I'm in. Me too. Count me in. Have fun. I'm going to stay here with Chug. We need to find out if there's anything wrong with the Spoloni. Maybe there was a batch of bad beef or it's expired or something. Or bad goats. I'm telling you dude, this shit's funky. Doesn't taste like no beef to me. The product is most likely a blend of low cost meat components from different sources of beef, pork, chicken, and or turkey. Don man, you're making my stomach turn. This is like the hot dog incident all over again. Ugh, I hope not. Sal might be onto something. There could be an issue with the lunch meat. I'd like to take our sandwiches to the science lab. And see if I can find any bacteria or signs of expiration. However, it would be helpful to know what the exact ingredients are. Okay, Ash, you go with Todd and help him in the lab. Larry and I will try to get more information on the baloney. Sounds like a plan. Alright. Oh, let's see what Rick will check out to say. Oh, uh... Hi, Larry. Hey, Mabel. Aren't you going to eat your lunch? My mom made me peanut butter and jelly again. I'm just kind of tired of it, you know? Uh, I mean, if you're not going to... Of course you can have it, Chug. Heck yes! Uh, fell warriors. Uh oh, there's Travis. We'll leave you alone. Hi, Kim. We wanted to ask you about the bologna. Could you tell us where the school buys it from? Why do you want to know about bologna, eh? Is something wrong with Kim's cooking? It, no, no. We were just wondering where. It, you go, kids. Go back and sit. Go and sit back to chairs now. No more questions. Do you think we could just see a package or no packages for you? Just butts and chairs. Go on. Well, that was a failure. She always seems so unhappy. I wonder why she stays here. It's like the kids make her sick or something. Dude, what if Kim is poisoning the lunches? I don't know if this town has room for another conspiracy theory. No. I guess it's worth looking into. Why don't you see if you can sneak into the principal's office to look at her files? While you do that, I'll check in with Todd. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Alright, so I gotta go check in with- oh, Hall. Bing. 103, Mr. Mrs. Packerson's is the class in there right now. That might be it. This is it? No, this is not the science lab. This is the math class. They have pi. <laughs> okay, that's the cafeteria. We got lockers, including my locker. What does my locker have in it? I've had this backpack since I was started going to school here. It's a little worn around the edges. So my textbooks talk to you that I take a physics here. I actually enjoy it. Where we live in is fascinating. Feel the mystery. Picture of us from Halloween. That was so fun. I'm lucky to have such great friends. Aww. All right. The other lockers, bathrooms, cafeteria. Wait, I just passed it. Whoa. Any luck? The teachers are all in the lounge. Waiting for the right moment to sneak by. I, I need to go. Alright, this is the cafeteria again. What in the world am I doing?
Maybe I'm going to the courtyard? I know I'm not going back in the cafeteria. Peaceful outside. And that's the other hall. Which actually it would make sense for that to be birds. I can't see them. They must be hiding. Okay. That I'm sure is going to be a thing later. It's gotta be. We're gonna go in this hall door. Hopefully that'll get me somewhere else in the school. Oh, awesome, Ash. Hey, what's wrong? The dang closet is locked. I need something in there to test the baloney. I tried to pick the lock like Larry showed me, but now my hairpin is stuck in the keyhole. It's jammed up good. Hmm. Could use some pliers to get that out, but... Yeah, they'd be in the closet or with the janitor, but he always leaves for lunch. I'll see what I can find. Thanks. In the meantime, I'm going to try getting this out. Alright. I... I'm going to stop it there. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy to be playing Sally Face again. I love this game. It's so weird and so good at the same time. There's so much going on. Oh, and I'm happy to be back at it. Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Because I'm going to keep making videos. I'm going to keep playing games. I'd love you to come along and see what I run into next. Don't forget that you can buy this game on Steam now. There's a season pass that's going on. And that's what I got. So I'm going to get every episode as it comes out and play it for you here on the channel. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time, guys. Peace. This week's comments of the week come from Denafinus, who said there were like 31 seeds to cook down in the gardening chest too. You should have told someone you were starving so they could feed you. Yeah, I guess I should have. And from Foxtails, when it comes to Doki Doki Literature Club, do it. Do it. Just do it. I did.